I'm going to start by asking about your new album, which uh, I've heard the singles from it. And I thought it was pretty interesting because it's got kind of this grunge flavor that I was not expecting. Uh, and it was cool. I liked it, but definitely a big departure from where you guys have been before. Um, where did that come from? Well, um, I think we were craving something a little different. You know, I think we our last couple of records, we really dove really deep into like kind of a lot of high gain metal tones and um, really intricate, uh, you know, complex stuff. And uh, so I, for this record, I, I was just craving something completely different and wanted to kind of take more from the inspiration of bands that I listened to growing up, um, more nineties bands, you know, like, cause I, I always loved like punk and, and, fast stuff but i was I, I was also really big in like pearl jam and like stone temple pilots and the cranberries and all these kinds of bands so um kind of leaned into that stuff because i grew up playing that as well and uh i've never really kind of fully shown it in in our band so that's kind of where all that came from for me it, it sounded like silver chair to me when i first heard it yeah that's funny we're doing a uh, we're doing like a little promotional thing where uh we're gonna give away uh it's like a contest and we sign one of our new vinyls and then we pair it with our one of our favorite vinyls of all time you know and i i paired mine with frog stomp by silver chair yeah it's a good album it's interesting to hear these kind of influences come up more now with you guys and some other people are doing as well because for years it was really just not cool at all to like say that you liked any of that stuff there's a lot of things that weren't cool for years, like uh, like cargo pants are fully back. Like if I'm you got, the, ca- I'm hoping the juicy uh, track suits come back. Oh, they're they'll be back for sure. But like you know, if you got caught in like corduroy pants or like cargo pants at a certain time period, man, that was that was really bad. Like that was uh, that's about as bad as it gets. And now they're just full force. Yeah. Well, of the songs that I've heard so far, um, the song, even when I'm not with you, um, might actually be my favorite song that Pierce the Veil has ever done. Um, wow, like musically, lyrically, I liked it a lot too. Genius, if it is correct, genius.com tells me that it's about missing your wife when you're on the road. Uh, I've mm. been married for a long time and I can definitely relate to that. Is that what it's about? Tell me about the lyrics. Yeah, um, it started off, um, it was inspired by a text, actually, that my, my manager sent me a text one time that just said, even when I'm not with you, I'm still with you. Uh, I, th- I, was, I don't remember what, what I was going through. I was going through something, and I was, I was struggling with something, and she wrote that to me, and I thought it was beautiful, and I wrote it down. So I was like, this, this could be a great lyric. You just inspired me. And uh, so, yeah, and then I, I developed it into uh, just a – little simple love song to my wife about, yeah, about devotion and, um, you know, knowing that no matter how far away I am in the world, that we're always connected through our love. And, um, yeah. And I tried to say it in the most creative poetic way I possibly could, you know, it's nice. It feels very heartfelt. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and the guitars are it, one of my favorite things about this song is, uh, you know, we're always trying to, trying to do something that we've never done before and I, I think the thing that we did did on this song musically it was I've always wanted to write a song that is a single looping riff throughout the whole song so all that changes is the melodies and um so I think we were able to achieve that on this one and it, it's it was really fun to try that I like that kind of emotional <laughs> tone because I feel like that is kind of missing from a lot of music in uh, you know whatever genre you want to call it you know there's Mm -hmm. a lot of like angry music and sad music and maybe there's songs about like oh i like the girl but she doesn't like me back and you know and all of that stuff is totally valid um but especially you know as we all get older i feel like those kind of emotions are stuff that i like to see expressed more Mm. yeah i mean there's a lot of a lot of sour, a lot of sour songs right now. And this is just a love song. And, you know, this is, it's might as well, 
you know, this is coming from Beatles inspiration, you know, just like try to try to like just sing about uh, this person and make them feel really good. And, and yeah, that's what that was for, you know. How do you feel about getting out on the road a bunch now? You know, you've had, I mean, nobody was playing shows for a while and you got a baby on the way and stuff. How do you feel about getting back on the road again with that in mind? Uh, I'm very excited to to be touring again. The, we did we toured for the last three months, and it was it was it was the greatest touring we've ever had. It was so exciting, and the energy was just on a high that I've never seen before. And so, yeah, and we appreciate everything so much more now as we've gotten older, and you know we haven't toured in so long. And I I definitely am a little. Uh, scared about handling touring with having a new baby. I think that's some, you know, this is something I've never done. So I've been confiding in a lot of my friends bands who have done this before and asking them questions and kind of seeing how they did it. And uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of like looking for tips, right?